firefighters in Warwick are still waiting to learn the fate of their new contract. They've been working without one since July of last year. And counselors met for a special meeting tonight to take up the matter, but it didn't get far. As we first reported earlier this week, the Warwick City Council President said he was served by a constable informing him of the special meeting had been called. But the process of how this special meeting was called was concerning to the City Council's attorney, and that's why counselors ultimately decided to end the meeting without moving forward. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo is live in studio tonight with more. Sheena. Well, at the meeting, we learned that not all members were properly notified that a special meeting was officially called, and that's against the city's charter, forcing the council to adjourn for the night. Warwick firefighters back at City Hall after a special meeting was called to potentially ratify a new contract. We had an opportunity to take care of this, either a yes vote or a no vote on Monday. That did not happen. But that decision to call the special meeting was met with backlash. The president of the city council, Steve Marola, says he was surprised by a constable at his office Wednesday informing him of this meeting, requested by five council members and the mayor. Marola says he can't support the contract the way it's written now, and the special meeting felt rushed. These contracts mean something. They set the budget for years to come. When you pass a three-year contract, you're locked into 80% of your fixed costs. That's why these are so important. Things didn't get too far Friday night, though, counselors adjourned over concerns that not all members were properly informed of the meeting, which is against the city charter. It's either do it the Friday before the week of Christmas or do it the week of Christmas or just kick the can even further and not many people want to do two meetings in one week in January. Councilman Timothy Howe says he was one of the counselors that called for the meeting. He feels it's important to address the contracts right away. I felt this was something I just didn't, we didn't want backlog again. We had that in the summer and that really stops services in the city for our constituents. While Marola says they need more time to get it done right. I think that it's very important to, to have a breather, if you will, uh, for everybody to look at things and examine things and maybe get more information. Um, I, I don't think that rushing it through uh, would have been a good move. The Warwick Firefighters Union president supports the contract and says he feels the council has had plenty of time to review it. The next scheduled city council meeting is in January. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.